how to quickly get the latest Sardi from uh, the net. I have this little folder here inside the Ultimate Linux Mint 18.6 Cinnamon. And this is coming from uh, in GitHub. Let's do that first and then make some. Let's be creative and let's make a new one. New icon theme. Sardi Mono. New mix. So get yourself. Up, 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 where is it? Get yourself this one. Ultimate Linux Mint 18 Cinnamon. Download it. Download the zip. Open it. Extract it. And then you will find here a folder and, and a script which says it's going to download the Inca icons Sardi latest. The only thing you have to do is uh, run it, but just to be sure, I want everything to be gone. We just made a movie about Sardi Mono Numix Colora Hot Pink. That's why this looks as it is. Delete. We run the latest Sardi script. And it's going to get the 7.6.2. It's a bit, a bit fast, but trust me, 7.6.2 is downloaded. Don't trust me. Go to Sardi. Go to the changelog and see what version it is. 7.6.2 is now in my computer. Close all files. The way it looks is normal because we had this kind of look here. But in the Sardi item set, that's not available. We made it ourselves. We made it hot pink. It's all on Eric Dubois, this exercise. It used to be Sardi Mono Numix Colora, and we made it to another color. So that can be done with this via the script. Let's make ourselves a new one. So this one is another exercise in this little script here. This time we're not going to go um, randomly and go via the colors in Inkscape, but this time I'm going to freeze my image, my wallpaper, and we're going to use both col wallpaper colors and change our icons accordingly. Maybe it's a good idea, I don't know. Let's find out together. So. We have the same procedure always. You have this script that's yours. These are already presets. And Ctrl C, Ctrl V makes it yours. This is my preset. This is going to be my colors. And this is the original one. But let's, if we want to test again and again and again. Let's make a copy paste so we have the originals nearby, otherwise I have to get them again from the downloads folder. And then, what's next? Next, you could try to run GPIC. And then, let's put it here, that's gone. Take one of the numbers, the swatches, like six, and then you move over colors. We have this color here, which is kind of red, and this is orange. Let's take this one, and you press spacebar, and in the bottom, this is dark orange. Okay, this is black, this is more bluish. Let's take blue, and maybe something lighter blue. Um, okay, we have two colors here already. And now the whiter colors, the whiter colors, how about this? So now we have dark orange, havelock blue and polo blue. We, have, we just took three colors and that's all we need to start. Or you have imagination, or you go to Inkscape. I think we'll skip Inkscape this time. There are other movies to show you that. So I'll refer you to those on ericdubois.be. We'll go now to my preset. Running terminal. Oops, my mistake. Thank God we made the 
I don't know, you don't have to make a backup because the standard look is blue and white, etc. So you can run it as many times as you want, nothing changes the same, the same colors. No, um, what I want to do was not run it but display it. Let's put it here. Like always, stay of the old colors, and these are the new colors. Now you have to visualize yourself. I'm going to take this color for the main body, for the color body. I don't want this one. No um, hashtags. Mm, icons. The icons or the small one. So is this the big color? This is the body color that I took. The body color is blue and the icon light blue and the top orange. Or do we take the orange as icon and the top as blue? I think it's best, let's see how it looks, to take this one as um, icon. That's what I wanted to do. This one as icon and the orange as a smaller, smaller part on the top. That's set and done. So the color of the paper, I leave it as is, white. Let's kill everything. If we run it now, things will change. And you can see it here. Let's have a look. No. Is it what I hoped it would, would be? Come on, computer. Ooh. What did he do? He changed my wallpaper, that's all. So now this is the look. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. I think I'll keep it. He changed my wallpaper. And remember, the point was actually to have uh, previous I think to have a wallpaper that fitted one of my wallpapers and suppose it's further than this one that was the idea finding colors here putting them in the wallpaper in the folders of Numix and change them all in all I do think they fit together so that was the message maybe the last thing to do and that was naming the thing I forgot again what the name was this is polo polo blue so let's just call it polo that's great this you can delete forget this one be consistent so we're gonna call it polo it's going to be top orange and it will be body dark blue and icon will be light blue so you have some a bit of uh, a good guess already what it would look like this would be the polo everything changes of course since we're referring to a folder that does not exist anymore we have to help him and say we just changed it to polo and then again go inside here and last thing and then the movie is at its end safe nah again a new script to show you how pow powerful the Sardi Mono Numix Colora script is have fun and make beautiful desktops.